Hello traders at CMC Markets. Welcome to another update by RRD Research for Monday 1st of August. I'm recording this on Friday the 29th of July. My name is Trevor Neal and I'm presenting for RRG Research this morning from London. We'll start as we always do talking about the looking at the review of major global indices. Then we'll look at the US and Europe and see what we conclude about the relative strength there. We will come back to something that Julius was talking about last week, which was uh, growth versus value and also sectors. And then we'll look at the FANG stocks. Remember them? The FANG. This week, as we look at the major indices, usually we look at it versus the MSCI World Index as a benchmark. But this time we've chosen to look at it versus a 0% annual return. So this is the actual real appreciation, not versus the global index, but versus cash. So what we can see is generally almost everything is in this crowded area here in the leading quadrant pointing generally east so that's with increasing the JDKRS ratio and many of them moving up slightly as well. So with RS, JDKRS momentum also as well. So in a good position, stocks are in a good position versus cash. There is one exception here, isn't there, uh, which is the Hang Seng HSI. Uh, that is way on, on its own, out on the left, in the lagging quadrant. Yes, it's moving up, but it's really an outsider. It's in the absolutely the wrong place. So most indices are in this leading quadrant here, meaning that stocks in, are in a short term uptrend in terms of price versus this 0% return. And that is good after long declines in stock market markets that we've had this official bear market that we've suffered. So practically everything is looking good but as, a, as an asset class. Last week Julius focused on the stocks 50, Eurostox 50 as a leader and he was at the time we were just below this 3600 resistance level. So during the week as he suspected the Eurostox started to make its break to the upside. So it has bounced several times at the 3,400 level, one, two, three times there, and then now approaching resistance, and which at this moment, as I speak, this frees up upside potential for the market, having broken these two resistance highs around 3,600. Now we notice the fall down from 3,800 area down to 3,600 was very fast, it occurred in just two days. We had this jump, these are daily bars here, this fall, sorry, not jump, but fall. But so this means that having cleared that resistance, the move up potentially could be quite quick because there is little resistance. Now, what is very interesting and really probably more important for us is the RRG lines. And we see both of these are above 100 and looking fairly good and pushing us in towards the lead, into the leading quadrant, underscoring this relative strength of the European market. Now, we saw on the first RRG chart that the NASDAQ 100, which we see here now as a chart, as a, a weekly chart, is the index with the highest JDK RS ratio was the NASDAQ 100. So the also the ARS momentum also indicates increased momentum in the relative strength. So let's look at this chart in some detail. It is approaching two significant resistance level. One is from this May high here at 12,800, a minor resistance level, but we've got a significant support level from these two lows here, this consolidation here, just above the 13,000 levels. So we're moving up in this parallel channel towards these two resistance levels. Now, what is the chances that these two levels are going to give way and we're going to break the pattern of lower highs that has been intact and dominated the markets since we had the March high. It depends on the nature of the approach. And here we've got, the, I'm showing the weekly MACD 
this is 12, 26 and 9 weeks. Now look at the MACD line here is above its signal line, its moving average line and the gap between the two is, is widening. This means that the, the move in the NASDAQ 100 is upwards and the momentum of that move up is increase, increasing. Now when you approach resistance levels and the momentum increases as opposed to fades away, then you have a higher chance of the possibility that these old resistance levels, previous support, now resistance levels, are likely to give way. Another resistance level I should have mentioned as well is 13,000, the round number itself. So I would conclude that we are generally moving higher towards significant resistance levels and we're doing so with increasing momentum and so the chances of a successful break and change of the trend it's already going up but a consolidation and a, a clarification of, of that we're not going down in the Nasdaq but going up will come quite soon with this break of the 13,000 level which looks likely. Now let's look at this graph here which has just got two elements in it. One is the Dow Jones US Growth Index here and this one here is the Dow Jones US Value Index against the Dow Jones US Index. We see that the growth is heading in a northeasterly direction but in the improving quadrant and the value is in the weakening quadrant and in a southwesterly direction. It's a weekly chart and therefore shows a longer term picture. Now last week Julius pointed out that the recent improvement for growth and the opposite rotation for value, improvement for growth and opposite rotation for value is very clear. But we need to keep in mind this is still on the right hand side here and I know it's weakening, it's still relatively better than the, the growth picture here. Given the distance from the centre of the chart here and percentage terms, it is still possible for both tails to complete a rotation, complete a rotation in onto the same side of the graph. So the, this could swing fast around and also being on the, in, on the plus 100 side of the JDK ratio. He also looked at the last week at the sectors of the S&P and he noticed that amongst in constituents, major constituents, heavyweight constituents of the growth sector with technology and consumer discretionary were both in the leading quadrant. Now I want to expand on this a little bit and just discuss is it time to stop hating the tech stocks? Now here's a relative rotation graph of what we used to call, although it's a bad name now, the FANG stocks. Some stocks have changed their names and the constituents have changed a little bit here, but these, are the, these were the powerhouse stocks of the bull run, the ones that soared away and gave us the great driver of that bull run. But there were also the stocks which dropped very hard when we had the, bull mar the bear market move down the collapse of this year and they were the leaders of, of that fall, proving that what goes up does come down eventually. We can see that versus the S&P, NF, LX, Netflix, Facebook, Nvidia and Apple are all improving in this improving quadrant uh, are all in the improving qu quadrant versus the S&P itself. BABA, Alibaba, furthest to the right and so the one with the highest RS ratio and also we've got Twitter also pretty far to the right although losing some momentum. We've got one notable security, two notable securities. One is Google, which is going absolutely in the wrong direction. It is moving southwest, so it's moving deeper into the lagging quadrant. And further to the left, lowest on the RS ratio is Amazon there. And although it's pointing up, it's just really hesitating at this very low reading. And so we've got a message here 
that these leaders, which are again driving us, we've seen from our earlier comments here, that this is the sector that is driving this bounce in the growth stocks and in the stock market, but you have to be careful which ones you choose. These ones in the improving quadrant are the ones to go for, and these ones here are the ones that we don't like so much. And so be careful what you decide and pay attention to the message of the RG stocks if you want to participate in the growth and technology bounce and you agree that is underway. I'll leave it here for this week. Thank you very much for watching. We will be with you again the same time next week in the same place. Goodbye from Julius and I at RRG Research and may the trend be with you.